In 2009, Susan Magdalene Boyle walked onto the stage of Britain's Got Talent. No one was expecting what happened next. Okay, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. You've outsold Paul McCartney, Rod Stewart, Elton John. You've outsold everybody, Susan. Okay, moment of truth. Here's yes or no. The biggest yes I have ever given anybody. <laughs> Susan wasn't what people usually thought of when they imagined a singer on a talent show. Her frizzy hair and plain brown dress did little to conceal the nervousness etched across her face. Some people in the audience, and even some viewers at home, made judgments about her before she even started singing. They thought she might not be very talented because of the way she looked. But Susan didn't let their assumptions stop her. She was determined to show everyone what she could do, and she was about to prove that you can't judge a book by its cover. Everything changed the moment she opened her mouth to sing I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables. Her voice had a haunting and beautiful quality that filled the room, and the emotions she expressed were incredibly powerful. Even the tough judges, Simon Cowell, Piers Morgan, and Amanda Holden were taken by surprise. The audience was stunned. As Susan sang, they were filled with a mix of shock and admiration. Many people were moved to tears. Susan's performance was so powerful and emotional that people everywhere were captivated. Her story quickly spread online, making her an internet sensation overnight. But Susan's story is much bigger than just a viral video. It's a story about resilience, overcoming challenges, and achieving your dreams. It's about Susan herself, a woman who has faced many difficulties in her life but has never given up. It's about her amazing journey from a small village in Scotland to becoming a global star. Susan Boyle was born on April 1st, 1961, in the town of Blackburn, nestled in the heart of West Lothian, Scotland. She entered the world as the youngest of nine siblings, consisting of four brothers and five sisters. Her parents, Patrick Boyle and Bridget, nay Finlay Boyle, raised their large family in a working class home. Patrick Boyle worked as a miner and was a veteran of the Second World War. He also worked as a singer at the Bishop's Blaze, while Bridget was a shorthand typist who also took care of the family as a homemaker. The Boyle family had a rich heritage, their roots firmly planted in the fertile soil of Ireland. The Catholic Church, with its comforting rituals and strong sense of community, played a vital role in their lives. Susan's life began with a struggle. She was first raised thinking that she had been briefly deprived of oxygen during a difficult birth, resulting in a learning disability but she was later told that she has been misdiagnosed and is on the autism spectrum with an IQ of above average. This meant she didn't learn and grow at the same pace as other children. It made school a challenge for her. Susan found it hard to keep up with her classmates and often felt different. She had a tough time understanding her lessons and making friends, making her feel lonely and left out. Susan attended St. Margaret's Primary School and then went to a local secondary school. Her early school years were filled with bullying Many of the other children did not understand her challenges and often made fun of her, calling her different. For Susan, playgrounds and classrooms became difficult places where she felt alone and isolated. Despite the hurtful words of her classmates, Susan found comfort in music. She loved to sing and often participated in local church choirs, where she was recognized for her beautiful and soulful voice. Music became her safe space, a place where she could express herself and escape from the negative experiences at school. However, the bullying didn't stop at school. Sometimes when she sang, people would shout rude comments and insults. This made it hard for Susan to enjoy her passion for music without fear of being judged. Even in her sanctuary, she faced challenges, but her love for singing continued to shine through the pain. Susan Boyle's musical journey began with a quiet determination. She sought out the guidance of a vocal coach named Fred O'Neill, honed her skills at the Edinburgh Acting School, and even graced the stage of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Her faith was a constant in her life, leading her to sing at a special church in Ireland called the Knock Shrine. But her heart truly yearned for something more. She auditioned for a TV show in 1995, and in 1998, she invested all her savings to record a professional demo of her powerful renditions of Cry Me a River and Killing Me Softly. She sent these recordings far and wide, hoping for a break. Even a charity CD recording in 1999 drew praise from a local newspaper reviewer who called her performance heartbreaking. Unbeknownst to her, these early recordings would eventually find their way online, planting the seeds for her extraordinary rise to fame. 
Aside from her talent and dreams, though, she lived a quiet life in the village of Blackburn. Susan Boyle's life took a turn in 1998 when her father passed away. This was a difficult time for the entire family, and Susan, being the youngest, felt a strong responsibility to support her mother. Her mother was getting older and had some health problems, so Susan stepped up to care for her. Taking care of her mother meant that Susan had to put her own dreams on hold. She had always wanted to be a singer, but her family needed her, and she knew she had to be there for them. This was a big sacrifice for Susan, but she never complained. She loved her mother dearly and was determined to do everything she could to help her. In her early adult years, Susan worked hard to pursue her singing career, but faced many setbacks. She entered several local singing competitions, including karaoke contests, where she gained some recognition in her community. Although she was making progress, she also needed to support herself and her family. To do this, Susan worked various jobs, including as a caregiver and in administrative roles. Balancing work with her passion for singing was not easy, but she remained determined to keep her dreams alive. In 1999, Susan Boyle took a leap of faith. At the age of 38, she decided to enter a local karaoke competition called Star for a Night. This was a big deal for Susan, as it was a way for her to finally share her passion for singing with the world. She had spent years singing quietly in her home, at church, and at family gatherings. Now, she was ready to take her talent to the next level. Susan performed with her heart and soul, captivating the audience with her beautiful voice. She did incredibly well and even finished as the runner-up. But despite her success, Susan didn't receive the kind of recognition she had hoped for. Although many people admired her talent, her performances didn't get the widespread attention they deserved. Susan was disappointed, but she didn't give up on her dreams. She continued to sing and perform, waiting for her chance to shine. Little did she know that 10 years later, a life-changing opportunity would come her way. In 2009, Susan would finally get the chance to share her voice with the world on a much larger stage, and it would change her life forever. This was the moment when Susan's journey would take a remarkable turn. Susan Boyle had already won a few singing competitions in her hometown, and her mother encouraged her to take a chance on a bigger stage, Britain's Got Talent. She had even considered trying out for another talent show, The X Factor, but decided not to because she felt people were being chosen based on their looks, not their talent. Even with all this encouragement, Susan almost gave up on the idea of auditioning for Britain's Got Talent. She thought she was too old, but her former singing coach, Fred O'Neill, convinced her to go for it. Susan was driven by a desire to honor her mother's memory through her music. Her friends and family encouraged her, but she was both excited and scared. She wasn't sure how people would react to her, but she knew she had a powerful voice. The stage of Britain's Got Talent became her first public performance since her mother's passing. Susan Boyle signed up for the third season of Britain's Got Talent in 2008. After passing a first audition in Glasgow, she stepped onto the big stage at the Clyde Auditorium in front of millions of viewers. Susan told the judges that her dream was to become a successful singer, just like Elaine Page. For her first performance, she chose the song I Dreamed a Dream from the musical Les Miserables. The audience was initially unsure what to expect. They all looked at her with curiosity, but as soon as Susan started singing, everything changed. Everyone was amazed by her voice, and it was one of the most incredible things anyone had ever seen on TV. One of the judges, Amanda Holden, said that the audience went from being doubtful to completely amazed. Suddenly, people all over the world were talking about Susan. It started with a simple audition, but it quickly became a huge story. Susan Boyle was completely stunned by the overwhelming response to her performance. People loved her. Afterward, singer Paige even asked if she could sing a duet with Boyle, calling her an inspiration to everyone who has big dreams. Boyle's powerful version of I Dreamed a Dream even boosted ticket sales for the Vancouver production of Les Miserables. The musical's producer, Cameron McIntosh, agreed, saying Boyle's performance was heart-touching, thrilling, and uplifting. Susan Boyle was one of 40 talented acts who made it to the semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. She was the last performer in the first semi-final, singing Memory from the musical Cats. The audience loved her, and she received the most votes, putting her through to the finals. Everyone thought she would win, but in the end, a dance group named Diversity took the top spot. Still, a record-breaking 17.3 million people watched the finale. After the show, there was a lot of media attention on Susan, and some of the reports were unkind. The press was concerned about her well-being, 
so they reminded the newspapers to be respectful of her privacy. A day later, Susan went to a private clinic in London to rest and recover. Her family said she was tired from the constant attention and pressure, but that she was still excited about her future. She was even invited to the White House for Independence Day. Susan left the clinic after a few days and decided to go on tour with Britain's Got Talent. Despite some health concerns, she performed in 20 out of 24 shows, singing for audiences in Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Dublin, and many other cities. She was a huge hit everywhere she went. Even though some people thought she might be overwhelmed, she seemed confident and comfortable on stage, like a seasoned performer. Susan's life changed completely after her amazing performance on Britain's Got Talent. She never thought she'd be famous, but now everyone was talking about her. The whole world was watching. She was suddenly surrounded by people, and it was exciting, but also a little overwhelming. It was a lot to handle. This newfound fame brought opportunities Susan had only dreamed of. Her talent was undeniable, and soon she was offered a record deal with Simon Cowell's music label, Swyceo Music. This was a huge deal for Susan, a chance to make music and share her voice with the world on a much larger scale. Susan was excited, but she knew that being a celebrity was a big change. It meant adjusting to a life of interviews, public appearances, and constant scrutiny. It was a new world for her, and she was ready to embrace the challenges and opportunities that came with it. She had come a long way from singing in her small village, and now she was ready to show the world what she could do. The village, with your head held high, it's three S's. In November 2009, Susan Boyle released her first album called I Dreamed a Dream. This was a big moment for Susan. She had worked hard to get to this point, and now she was ready to share her music with the world. The album was an instant success and a huge hit, it sold more copies than any other new singer's album in the UK, breaking a record. That means it was the most popular album in the country at the time. In her first year as a famous singer, she made a lot of money from her album and songs like I Dreamed a Dream and Wild Horses. People loved Susan's voice and were eager to buy her music. I Dreamed a Dream included a mix of different kinds of songs like classical music, pop music, and traditional folk songs. It was a diverse collection that showed off Susan's wide range of singing abilities. Critics loved the album, praising her powerful voice and her ability to make people feel emotions through her music. It was clear that Susan Boyle had a truly special talent. The success of I Dreamed a Dream proved that she was a force to be reckoned with in the music industry, and her journey was just beginning. After the success of her debut album, Susan went on an exciting promotional tour. She appeared on many talk shows and programs, sharing her story and her music with audiences everywhere. Through her journey, Susan became a symbol of strength and hope, showing that anyone can achieve their dreams, no matter their background or how they look. You decided to spend a little time with us this morning. We thank you very, very much. Thank you for having me. Really good. Susan Boyle. Fame brought many opportunities for Susan Boyle, but it also came with some tough challenges. It was a double-edged sword. Susan suddenly found herself under intense public scrutiny. The media was everywhere, wanting to know everything about her, not just her music, but also her personal life. Reporters would follow her around, trying to get photos and stories. It was a lot of pressure. While Susan was used to some criticism, the level of public interest she was facing was overwhelming. She had never imagined that her life would be under such a microscope. It was hard for her to cope with the constant attention and the pressure to be perfect. In 2010, Susan opened up about her struggles during an interview. She shared that the fame had become too much for her to handle, leading to an emotional breakdown. Recognizing that she needed help, she decided to enter a private clinic for treatment. This time away allowed her to learn how to better manage the stress that came with being famous and to take care of her mental health. Even though Susan Boyle was facing some challenges with fame, she never gave up on her dreams. She was determined to keep making music and sharing her gift with the world. In 2010, Susan released her second album called The Gift. This album was a collection of popular Christmas songs and it was another big success for Susan. People loved hearing her sing those classic holiday tunes and the album helped to solidify her position in the music industry. The gift proved that Susan was more than just a one-hit wonder. She wasn't just a flash in the pan. She was a talented artist with a long and successful career ahead of her. Susan's fans were thrilled to hear new music from her, and they knew that she was here to stay. This album was so popular that it topped the charts in both the UK and the USA. 
She was one of the very few singers to do that in the same year. Susan then went on to release more albums like Someone to Watch Over Me, Standing Ovation, and Home for Christmas, which were also really popular. She's even sung for the Queen. Susan sang Mole of Kintyre at a special event for the Queen's birthday, and she sang it again at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. Susan has released eight albums, including two special Christmas albums. She celebrated her 10th year as a singer with a special album called 10 and a tour, and she's still going strong. Her music continued to impress her loyal fans who loved her powerful voice and heartfelt performances. Each new album brought more excitement and joy to her career, proving that she could overcome her struggles and shine in the world of music. Susan Boyle took her music to the world, going on international tours and performing in many different countries. Everywhere she went, she charmed audiences with her beautiful singing and her heartfelt performances. Her shows were special because she sang with genuine emotion, connecting with people in a way that was both powerful and moving. It wasn't just about her amazing voice. It was about how she shared her feelings with the audience, making them feel something special during her performances. Susan Boyle is not only a talented singer, but also a kind and caring person. She has devoted her time to helping others through charitable work, especially those related to health and disability awareness. In January 2010, a terrible earthquake hit Haiti. To help the people who were hurt, Susan Boyle joined many other famous singers to record a song called Everybody Hurts. Then, just a few days later, she flew to Denmark to sing at a big concert to raise money for people in Haiti and Africa. Susan Boyle is a kind heart. She has sung at many charity events in the UK. In 2010, she performed for Sport Relief, a charity that helps people in need all around the world. The next year, she sang a beautiful duet with Peter Kay for Comic Relief, another charity that helps people who are struggling. They even made a CD of the song to raise even more money. She has also sung for BBC Children in Need five times, helping to raise money for children who are in need. In 2010, she also sang at the Pride of Britain Awards, celebrating people who have done amazing things. Susan Boyle Boyle has also used her voice to support people with disabilities. In 2011, she sang at the Scottish Variety Awards to raise money for a charity that helps kids. In 2013, she traveled to Bath, England to perform at the opening ceremony of the Special Olympics. She is known for her beautiful voice, but she also has a big heart. She uses her talent to help others, and she shows everyone that a little bit of kindness can go a long way. In 2013, she was asked to sing at a special concert for the Prince and Princess of Wales hospice. She was happy to use her voice to help this important charity celebrate its 30th anniversary. Susan has also become a strong voice for mental health, openly sharing her own experiences with anxiety and depression to encourage others to seek help when they need it. She wants to help people understand that they are not alone and that getting help is okay. Susan Boyle still lives in the same house where she grew up. It's a regular four-bedroom house in Blackburn that she bought with her own money. Her dad passed away a long time ago, and all of her eight brothers and sisters have moved out. Susan has never gotten married. She took care of her mom until she died in 2007. When her mom passed away, Susan was so sad she didn't leave the house for days. She's a devout Catholic and sings in the church choir. She also visits older people who are part of the church. Before she became famous, Susan's life was simple and routine. She said it was just mundane. In 2012, Susan learned she had Asperger's syndrome, which is a condition that can affect how people interact with the world. She told everyone about it in a BBC interview. Susan also has epilepsy, which means she sometimes has seizures. Once, when asked about dating, Susan joked that she was too scared to go out with anyone. She's a proud Scottish woman and is glad to be part of the United Kingdom. She's never had a drink in her life and learned she had diabetes in 2013. In 2014, Susan started dating a man around her age. Sadly, she had a stroke in 2022. She talked about it on Britain's Got Talent in June 2023. Last April there, I suffered a minor stroke. Did you? And I thought that crazy to get back on stage, and I have done it. Well, we are thrilled. Despite her challenges, Susan found strength in her music and her fans. She has continued to perform and record new music, sharing her passion for singing with the world. She is a testament to the power of resilience, showing that even in the face of difficulties, it's possible to find joy and strength within yourself. In 2020, Susan released an album called 10, which celebrated 10 years since she became famous on Britain's Got Talent. The album included new songs 
she wrote herself, along with some of her favorite classic songs performed in a new way. It showed how she has grown as a musician while still staying true to her roots. Susan Boyle's story is one that shows that anything is possible if you believe in yourself. She started out living in a small village in Scotland, but now she's a famous singer all over the world. It's a reminder that we can all achieve our dreams, no matter what challenges we face. Life hasn't been easy for Susan. She's had to overcome lots of difficulties, but she never gave up. Her story teaches us that it's okay to be different. Susan has a special gift. Her voice touches people's hearts. Every time she sings, she reminds us that it's not about the problems we have, but how we choose to deal with them and keep going after our dreams. She does this with so much bravery and strength. Susan's musical journey is still going strong, and we can't wait to see what she does next. She's a true inspiration to us all, and her name will always be a bright star in the world of music. Thanks for watching. Comment on what you thought about Susan when you first saw her. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this one.